Now, to process a third party transfer, we would have to set up the recipients on the system first. To do that, once you've selected account management and you have selected the sub tab that says third party transfers, to the far right, you will select manage third party recipients. All right. Now, what you will have to do first is to select whether it's an individual or a business you would like to create. So in this instance, let me just create a business set. All right, so I'm going to give my company a name. Now, the transit number field is only when you're going to add a Scotia Bank account holder, right? Now, what we're going to do here is we're going to use the Scotia Center Transit. The account type, it's a mandatory field. The account number. Now, for third party transfers, the account number must be nine digits in length for all Scotia Bank accounts. So if somebody gives you a number, one, two, three, four, you would have to add zeros before that so that it adds up to nine digits. And this applies only to third party transfers. Next, you will select the currency of the account. And if possible, if you have the information, the email address for the recipient, you can proceed to add it here. But it's not a mandatory field. Now, because I've added the transit number for Scotia Center here, I'm going to look for it in the list populated below. Now, the banks available listing, this will contain all the domestic banks here in Jamaica. And let me just give you a run through quickly. So you have Scotia Bank, you have Citibank, you have FCIB, FGB, JMMB, Jamaica National, and NCB, along with Sajikor. So we have all the com all the commercial banks here locally on the platform, and the same will apply for the other territories. Now, for this example, I had already entered the Scotia Center Transit. So what I had done was to come through the listing and look for BNS Scotia Bank Center. Submit. Again, because it's going to test for our Scotia Bank account, it doesn't, this account number does not exist. So our system would actually tell us. Now, on your end, once you're adding a recipient for third party transfers, you would have to ensure that the name is correct and the account number is correct, or you're going to get an error message similar to this. So it is important to get the account number correct and the spelling of the name correct. Okay.